Perry Waldrop has emphysema. The 55-year-old Coleman, Alabama man was a longtime smoker, a risk factor for this pulmonary disease that makes it difficult to breathe. So you and I breathe mostly with our diaphragm, and it operates basically like a piston. So it <clears throat> starts in kind of a concave up position like this and then pulls down and pulls the lung with it, and that allows air to flow in. Emphysema causes air pockets in the lungs to enlarge and trap air, forcing the diaphragm to lose its concave shape and flatten out. A flat diaphragm doesn't work very well. I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I had no energy. I mean, I couldn't even walk. One solution is to remove the diseased part of the lung. It's called lung volume reduction. This allows the diaphragm to return to its proper shape. Surgery is one option. It's effective, but there are some risks involved. It's a big operation. There's a 50 to 60 percent risk of pulmonary or cardiac complications and a small risk of perioperative death. In October of 2012, Perry Waldrop became the first person in America to undergo an experimental lung volume reduction procedure at UAB. Transfield and his team sprayed an aerosol foam into Waldrop's lung. It's a polymer that functions much like a two-part epoxy, hardening to a rubbery consistency that blocks off the diseased areas. Over time, those areas shrink, allowing the diaphragm to resume its normal function. Waldrop jumped at the chance to give it a go. Well, that's worth a try. You know, it's, when you can't breathe, anything's worth a try. The study is in the investigational stage. It's being done in Europe, Israel, and now the U.S. We don't know the balance of risks and benefits as well as we do for surgery. Uh, <clears throat> I think the, certainly the hope is that the risk will be far lower. And the preliminary data from experience in Europe suggests that that's true. Transfield expects the risk of complications to remain low and hopes it will be similar to surgery in effectiveness. Perry Waldrop says he sees improvement, but it will be another three months before he knows just how much better he can expect to be. It's fun to be a part of stuff, and I want to do as much as I can, and quality is everything, so, you know, it's... I just would like the quality of life to come back up to where I could actually do things and, and not have to worry so much and not have my wife worry about me so much.